Welcome to this AutoCAD tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Express Tool X Trim, a quick and efficient way to trim objects either inside or outside of a closed boundary. This tool is perfect for cleaning up your drawings with precision and speed. Let's dive in and see how it works now. X Trim is a hidden Express Tool. It's not included on any of the Express Tools tabs here in AutoCAD. So the only way that you can get to it is to type in Xtrim at the command line. So if I do so now, E-X-T-R-I-M, you'll see that it shows up on the command line as a valid command. When I press enter, it asks me to select a polyline, line, circle, arc, that type of thing. It works best with closed objects. So just for fun, I'm going to collect, I'm going to first click on that circle right there. And it's going to ask me now, do I want to, to specify which side of that circle I want to trim on? In this case, I can trim on the inside or the outside. So if I click inside of that circle, you'll see what it does is it goes through and it trims out all of the geometry on the inside of that circle. On the other hand, <clears throat> if I go to the X trim command and I select my circle, and I pick on the outside of that circle, it's going to trim everything that is outside of that circle with a couple of exceptions. You'll notice that it did not trim this line and it did not trim this circle. And the reason is, is because those two objects do not intersect the boundary edge of the circle. So they're completely ignored, okay? If I were to do this one more time, just to kind of show you how this works, I can say that I want this polyline, okay, hang on, X trim. I want this polyline to be my trim, my cutting edge. I'll pick that. And again, I can pick on the inside or the outside. If I pick on the outside, you'll see that it goes through and it trims out everything that intersects it. But this time it didn't trim this circle and it didn't trim this circle because they don't intersect that polyline. Okay. And then finally, one more time, if I pick that polyline one last time and pick on the inside, again, it's going to trim everything out from the inside of that polyline. But again, it ignored this circle because it doesn't intersect that polyline at all. One final way of using it is I could use it just with the line command or with, with uh, by selecting a line. So if I say X trim, and then it asks me to select a line. So I'll pick that line right there. Now it's gonna say, which side of the line do I want to pick? I can pick this side. It trims off everything on that side, right? Okay, or again, if I do it one last time, I pick that line right there, and then I pick this side. It'll trim off everything on this side, but again, only the things that intersect. So by using polylines and lines, you can use Xtrim to speed up your editing. And I hope that this is something that you can use in your everyday drafting.